Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. Guys, today we're going to look at the Unity. It's the MSO 3054 HD. I've done a couple of videos on this. Uh, this is just another one. I'm going to show you the FFT a little bit more. I'm going to, we're going to look at a signal coming out of the audio precision, okay? We're going to look at the signal it puts out when it does its testing. We're going to look at a couple different frequencies. I just want to show you what the FFT and how this works on this guy. So it's pretty cool. I mean, these new scopes are actually pretty amazing. The FFT has four mega points. You know, when I got my first segment and I had one mega points, I thought that was amazing, which it is. Four mega points. Wow. Just, I mean, one mega points is really great. Four mega points is even better, right? But, you know, I mean, this is, you know, not an inexpensive scope. So everything on it has been upscaled. And I just want to show you the FFT. So let's jump over here. Let's look at these signals. See what you think. Okay. All right, guys. So here's the 8 ohm loads. Here's the amplifier down here. But really, we're not even going into that test yet. This is a Pico scope I did in the last video with all the attachments and the scope probes. But this time, we're looking at the unity, okay? And we're going to look at that signal right there and that signal, which is coming from the audio precision. It's 1.249 volts, okay? 10 kilohertz. So that's the signal. We're going to come down here and look at this and see what we see okay so we're gonna see we're gonna look at the, how the unity works right that's what we're doing all right guys so i've shown them how to use this unity a little bit in another video i'll put the link below but here's the signal coming in okay and here is the fft so the signal coming in it says 1.27 volts which is about right it's 1.249 up up there but it's saying 1.27 Okay, look at all the cycles I got, and look at that little spike. Now, if I take this, a horizontal knob, and I spread these out, so watch this. If I spread it out like that so we can see the signal, the 10 kilohertz, see the FFT? It doesn't have enough waveforms to do the proper math. So you have to get more waveforms. Okay, now when you saw the picoscope, I'll put the link down below. It works a little differently, okay? It kind of automatically does it for you. But the way you know how many waveforms you need is to get this spike narrow, okay? Now, before I go further, let me hit this gear. And let me show you the setup. Uh, I've got the FFT on, okay? This is such a cool scope. It's got four FFTs you can turn on and I'm in general, and then there's a trace, okay? So on the trace, I got this on, so it's listed on. That's this window over here, okay? So let's go back to general, and it shows my source is channel one. My I'm doing a range from one hertz to 20K, handing, okay? So I've got all these different options, okay? So I've got four mega points, I mean, that's a lot of mega points, right? Got all these options from 8K all the way up to 4 meg. It's in decibels, not volts RMS. It's 20 dB per per decade, per grid, okay? And the uh, position in the middle is 32 dB. That's right there. That says, that's what that says, okay? There's also a waterfall feature, which is super cool. Let me know if you want to see that. But there we go, okay? Now... See all the cycles? Not enough cycles. See how fat it is? It should get nice and narrow as it gets better, more math, okay? The other thing I noticed is down here it says 625 mega samples per second, 2 kilohertz per division. So it's 2 kilohertz because it's 1 to 20K. So that's not going to change. But as I as I squeeze these together, now went to 312.5 mega samples per second. And you see how this is getting narrower? So I keep on squeezing this in to see if I can get it even better. Okay, now it's 156.25 mega samples per second. 
But you see how narrow this skin? We're getting lots and lots of samples over here. Now over here it says 9.999K and minus 4.7 dB, okay? So there we go. So that's how you get this real narrow and see it's minus 72. So the, the ground floor is right across here. Now watch, if I go up here and instead of saying four meg, let's say if I go to 512, let's try that. Actually, the ground floor, it didn't go real up, really. It's kind of still staying there. And you know what? We still got enough points and everything that everything's still looking good. So it actually will run faster if you're not collecting more points than you need. Okay? It's minus 4.8 uh, dust bowls over here. Kind of bouncing around. But, yeah, there we go. Now, if I hit the freeze button right here in the corner... It's 4.887 dB, minus 4.887 dB, that point right there, okay? So, see how narrow it is, right? And look, I don't see any harmonics. Now, I'm going to go up to the generator and change it to 1K, so we'll see this jump. You know, I'll change it to 2K, so it'll be right here. So, if we see harmonics, we should see things cross here, okay? So, let's, let's do that. Okay, well, actually, that's 8K. Oh, look. Is that 16K? Sure is. So now we got a harmonic at minus 52, 16K. Okay, let me drop down again. Now we're 6.3. Oh, look, there's another harmonic right there. See that little bump? Okay, let me drop down again, 5K. Wow, 5K was pretty clean, huh? That was, that was interesting. Let's go back to 5K. Man, look at 5K, almost no harmonics. That's... That's pretty interesting. Okay, here, let me go down a little bit further. 4K, we see harmonics jump back up a little bit. They're all around minus 52. Let's go to, this is 3K. Wow, that's, that's interesting. They kind of, not too many harmonics there. 2.5, okay, only really the second harmonics there. Okay, this is 2K. So now we're at 2K. Look, we got one at 4K minus 52. And, you know, that's pretty darn good, huh? So, now this is a generator. It should be a pretty clean signal output. And so we should see a clean signal. And it looks like we are seeing one. Okay, I'm going to actually go to 1K. There's 1.6. And there's 1K. Wow, look at 1K. And look how clean it is so i'm sure at 1k well actually that's 1.25k hold on a sec there's 1k okay there's 1k and look at this signal so let me amplify this signal so we get a better reading let's see if that okay watch this to see if it changes because that's a very small signal Okay, I'm going to put that signal so it's it, it's inside the grid. So that way we're fully utilizing the uh, 12 bits, okay? So now here's the signal. So this is minus 72, this line here. And we're seeing these really low spikes. And this guy is up at minus, here, let me freeze it. Minus 2.736 is what it says, okay? There we go. So that's how the spectrum works on this. And this is when we are sharing windows. I could make the spectrum fill up the whole window, you know, just getting rid of this window. But isn't that cool? So if I come over here, I can click on that window, it highlights this window, and I can see the stuff here. If I click on this window, it highlights this window. But that is pretty cool, huh? One more thing. Let's go back to trace. And mark type, it's on auto. I've only got one point marked. Let's go to, let's mark like five points. What the heck, let's do five. Okay, enter. So now look, one, two, three and four is bouncing around. Uh, four is over here. So, so they're kind of bouncing around. I got to, here, let me, I'll freeze it. So it's one, two, three, four. 
and you can see the grids over here. At 1K, it's minus 2.7. At 2K, it's minus 68.66, rounded off. 3, it's, um, well, it's 844 hertz is minus 74. 15.96 is minus 75 almost. And minus 19.9 uh, .9 kilohertz is like minus 75 or minus 76, actually. I mean, round it up, okay? So, very cool scope, very nice, very easy to use. I love it. All right, guys. I did a video just before this one showing the Pico scope, the 4444. It's different inputs. Look at this. It's like D, uh, what are they, nine pin, like D subs connectors, not coax. Really cool scope. This guy, so. The Pico is a 25 megahertz bandwidth. It's really great for audio, power supplies, and stuff. This guy's 500 megahertz. You can save a little money by going down, you know, to lower bandwidths. But this is the 500 meg. So, what do you guys think of that? It's pretty cool how the FFT works, right? Pretty easy to work. Way easier than, like, say, my signal that was one mega point. Is that thing? You know, you change one thing, you have to change the other one, you change this, and you have to change it back. You, if you guys have used those scopes, you know what I'm talking about. It's, you can walk it in. It takes you a little while to get to a signal. These things, you put it up there, you can look at the signal side by side. I mean, the signals, you can do that too, but every time you change one, it changes. Um, you know, you have to kind of go back and forth between two controls to kind of zero them in. And every time you change one control, it changes the bands. And that's so frustrating. On this one, it doesn't. You say, I want to go 1 hertz 20K. It doesn't change that. You change the frequencies. You know, you change how many cycles you're looking at. It doesn't, you don't have to go back and, you know, figure out like how many kilohertz per division and you know, all that stuff you have to do with some of those older FFTs. The newer FFT scopes, that they operate more like a spectrum analyzer where you just say, you either want a bandwidth and you say what the center band is, or you say, my stop band and my start band is this. So much easier. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it saves a lot of frustration. It's really cool to use FFTs, and it's really neat that they're making them easier to use and so much easier so um anyway let me know what you guys think comments down below appreciate it uh thanks for watching two big thumbs up to unity for sending the scope out it's a it's a loner i gotta send it back to him okay and uh two big thumbs up to my patrons my youtube members for supporting the channel really appreciate that and danny for being a team member that's a big deal so Appreciate you guys and hitting the super thank you button. Hasn't happened for a while, but you know, sometimes I, I usually show the people that hit in the last month. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. I have to send this back pretty soon, so let me know if there's other measurements you want to see on it before I send it back, okay? All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.